So Shani, last time we spoke to you was for your neck. So for people who've seen that, how do you compare your character in Patrick and the film itself? Wow, it's so different, uh, which is, is great because we kind of fall under the same, you know, horror category, but these films are so, so very different from one another. I felt like with Your Next, I really got to step into that dream action role that, that I'd been craving and, and show that more uh, kind of kick-ass, girl fights back um, uh, person that I, that I wanted to portray. And with this one, it, it was more of a challenge in, in uh, the fact that my main co-star was in a coma for the movie so it taught me a lot about reacting um, and uh, was definitely more on the on the drama uh, side of, of acting which is where I came from so you know it was nice to get back in touch with just more the heavier drama of, uh, of the horror scene and Charles Dance and Rachel Griffiths were kind of my inspiration for that so it was really really good. Now your lead co-star may be in a coma, but he has certain powers, doesn't he? Tell right. us about that. Yeah, yeah. The uh, 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 Jackson Gallagher plays Patrick, and um, we our new Patrick is younger, better looking. Um, you know, uh, just just to tr create more of a of a. I guess a reality sense of, of why my character would be so drawn um, to him. Uh, and it, there's just, I think the adaptations that we've sort of formed right here in this one have just been very cool for a remake. Um, the original subject was telekinesis, so we've kind of had all these advances in technology since and gives us the opportunity to really push the, the script forward. Um, but uh, to, to be acting with, with Jackson was, was a blast because he, he had to just lie very still and, and uh, not blink. And um, it's actually not, it's not, it's not that easy to do that. Uh, but he would shock me and, and open his eyes and wake up and, and scare the crap out of me a lot. So so he kept me on my toes. It was kept a, a, a very sort of dark and gothic chiller of a storyline, very uplifting and fun. Now you mentioned being scared there by Jackson suddenly waking yeah. up. What scares you in real life? Oh, um, in real life for this one, we worked very heavily again, uh, as we did in your next with the prosthetic department, um, and you know putting wounds on people and that you know working with with even though it's fake but working with fake blood and, and seeing how amazing the prosthetics department actually are at creating these injuries you, you forget sometimes that people aren't actually injured and you're walking around set and thinking are you okay you go to ask are you okay and it's like no, no I'm just good it's just a you know obviously makeup but um, that always freaks me out just watching everybody sort of walking around set just looking like they're half dead um, <laughs> But it was good, it was good. Um, I think the other thing that was really good, it didn't so much freak me out on this one, but it really gave me my first sense of like that real action woman kind of role. I was hooked up to so many rigs in this in this film. I did all my own stunts for, for the movie, which is a big kind of recommendation of mine um, that I can't, that I want to do my own stunts. And I was hooked up in this one to, to rigs and, you know, was sent flying backwards like 20 feet into crash pads that were against walls and I always love working really heavily with the with the stunt department and um, they're just a hoot to work with and I'm kind of the fearless sort of follower I guess you'd say I follow fearlessly stupidly but I will do anything they do so um, I had a blast getting thrown around on this one and speaking of getting thrown around we know you've got a female expendables coming up how much are you looking forward to that and what do you think about the idea of an all-female expendables movie I think it's a great idea I really do because if they going to do one with the guys and it works then I think they're going to they're going to get away with doing one with the girls and, and it's going to work just as well if not better because uh, it's almost less predictable um, you know it's kind of uh, we know we expect these guys to be to be big and tough and, and and go out and sort of save the day but when a woman does it there's something kind of really cool about it um, especially when you believe it and I think that the cast that we're putting together right now are, are so genuine action women that um, that it, it, it's gonna we're all very different as well so it's, it's gonna it's gonna be very very cool very interesting I'm really looking forward to it I mean we've got Gina Carano and Katie yeah, Sackhoff on yeah, board already them, yeah. there's rumors of Linda Hamilton and Pam Greer what can yeah. you tell us about that yeah I, I, I could tell you that that um, I, I'm as, as clued in as you are so uh, you know it's all gonna be very exciting when I think the final cast is announced cool. what can we look forward to you think in terms of the female movie Oh, I mean, I just think it, it, I feel like the reason, from what I'm aware anyway, that, that Your Next worked for me was that 
so many females came up to me after the film and, 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 and just loved watching uh, a woman kick butt. Um, and it, it, it's just, it's, it's really quite rare, you know, that, that, that we find a woman is able to step into these roles and, and, and sort of have an impact and an effect on other women out there. And my main, main thing that I took out of Your Next was encouraging women to get into uh, self-defence and, um, you know, really feel like they're capable of protecting themselves if, if they had to. And I just think that's really important. So if there was one thing that we could take out of maybe a female expendables, I would encourage the same message, you know, to to, to, to get out there and make that be just be kind of as confident as you can in that if, if something happened we could you know at least know that we have the skill to do what could be necessary Definitely. and we're hearing in terms of title things like expender bells b-e-l-l-e-s oh, yeah. what do you think of that <laughs> that's cute <laughs> um i you know I, the title um you know is not for me to decide um i just whatever the title is if i'm in the film i'll be very very grateful well we can't wait to see you in it when do you think you might start filming what stage are you at at the moment uh for, for what i'm aware we, we're shooting next year i couldn't tell you exactly when in the year but um we're looking for a 2015 release so wow yeah Cannot wait. And you bet you're looking forward to getting your teeth into some more stunts in that, aren't you? That's what I'm saying. See, yeah, I don't want to see a, uh, a Shani Vinton stunt double on that call sheet. The day I see that is the day I go, hang on a minute, what's going on here? I didn't sign up for this. No, I love doing my own stunts and I love action movies and I love high drama. So if, if I can put them all together and, uh, and do everything as much as I can myself, then that is, that's, that's why I'm in this business and that's, that's my dream. So we'll see. So last time we met Shawnee, we talked about female action roles like Laura Croft. We talked about female superhero roles like Elektra. Now I'm wondering if J.J. Abrams rang you up, for example, and said, how about one of the Star Wars movies coming up? Is that the kind of thing you'd be into as well? And what, oh, yeah. Who would you like to be? Oh, you know, anything, you want to put me in a... J.J. Abrams calls me up and wants to put me in a Star Wars movie, then J.J. Abrams, I'm happy to be in your Star Wars movie. <laughs> so, you know, any character will do, really, truly. It's, it, it, that would be great. Um, that would be an honour. No, truly, it would, it would be. It would be great. Do you see yourself as more as a force on the dark side or a force for good? <laughs> Oy, I could go either way. I feel like I want to be the mystery one, that you don't know if she's good or bad. So it just keeps people guessing all the time trouble <laughs> <laughs> and on that note it's been lovely to speak to you Shani thank you so good to see you again Definitely.